what's going on collective how you guys doing i wanted to do a reading spirit led me to do a it's complicated relationship message with the oracle cards so let's see what's complicated okay let's see what's going on what spirit wants to say and so forth i'm going to start out with the moon deck if this is your first time thank you so much for tuning in to miss moon's motivational tarot where i'm here to inspire you and motivate you on your spiritual and human experience thank you for the love the likes the shares and the comments guys i really appreciate it it doesn't take much and i appreciate you guys taking the time out to um bring some things in um that will bless the channel by hitting the like button as well as letting me know that you've watched and it resonated with you Ancestors of our highest good and light, thank you so much for the clarity, the wisdom, the unctions, the downloads. Thank you for your divine protection over me and collectives. Um, throat chakra, heart chakra, crown chakra, and the souls of our feet as above, so below. Let's go. Okay. And one more. If this is your first time, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking the time out to stop through. Come in, honey bun. Come in, sweetheart. Come in, sexy. Come in here, handsome. Let's see what's going on with these messages. You came here for a reason, right? And if you feel like this resonates and you want to be a part of the Moo Tribe family, go ahead and let us know by clicking that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you'll know when i upload messages all right so the first card we have is <clears throat> a time for healing balsamic moon okay so spirit is definitely letting us know that there's a time for healing um this is a time for you to reflect Maybe you are in that uh, energy of trying to heal or have healed, but something is complicated during your healing journey, okay? And it's to do with a relationship, okay? So let's see what Spirit wants to talk about when it comes to it's complicated. Thank you, Spirit. So it's complicated is justice. So you could be dealing with the Libra. Or you could be dealing with a legal situation, okay? Divorce, marriage, alimony, child support, God knows what, okay? Even business and contracts. Um, this is a relationship oracle message. So relationships have to do with partnerships, okay? So what is hidden? What is hidden, spirit? What is hidden when it comes to this justice? Okay, spirit told me not that deck, this deck. Okay, so justice. Justice with who? What does who or what does this have to involve? Who or what? Please and thank you, Spirit. Who or what? A child. So this has to do with child support or child, child protection or a child uh, visitation. Oh, child. A time for healing. Okay, justice for a child. So the child is the center of the reading. Okay, and what is your advice, Spirit? What is your advice? Please and thank you. I'm going to get two from this deck. Can I have two for this situation? Can I have two, Spirit? Can I have two for this? Oh, there it goes. They came out on top of each other. Okay, so let's see. I feel like this is two things that are happening back to back, like simultaneously, okay? So we have peace and we have the fates. Ooh, nice. I was scared for a second. I ain't gonna lie. I was scared for a second. <laughs> I was like, what's going on with the child? So some type of peace that is being faded and something's being faded, okay? So let's see what spirit want to talk about with the tarot. Give me one second, please. Thank you, Spirit. Guys, that fire in Canada, to all of my Canada viewers, that fire is really affecting us here in New York. I'm sorry, y'all. Fix that in a second. 
Um, and, you know, it's the air quality out here is crazy. So I'm sending light, love, and uh, healing towards you guys um, when it comes to this fire situation. Okay? So, <clears throat> thank you, Spirit. Let's go ahead and use this deck. Thank you, Spirit. So we have the number 17, the number 23, the number 18. Um, I believe, I can't remember what justice is. Justice is the, oops, stop it. <laughs> justice is the, uh, what is justice? I can't remember. I do know because I just dealt with it. Number 11. All right, so we have... A time for healing, balsamic moon. I have no clue when this moon comes out. Y'all can look that up, but it looks like uh, air. There's no number. So this moon is a time for healing. I feel like healing can be done at any time. The number 11, the number 18, the number 23, and the number 7. Okay. Oops, that wanted to come out. I don't want to take it, but Spirit said take it. So <laughs> I said I didn't want to take it, but Spirit told me to take it. Why is my card scratched? It looked like somebody literally scratched. So maybe that's part of the card. Can y'all see that? Don't it look like somebody scratched my cards? Damn, you scratching at your head. Somebody is needing to go through some type of healing. Somebody is up, stressed, um, in full regret or remorse, can't sleep, having nightmares about some type of judicial system, okay? Wow, the hangman. All right, so some type of healing is coming in towards you, honey boo, okay? You're going to get, um, I don't know if this situation is causing you to surrender or spirit is asking you to surrender or you feel stuck, okay? Can we clarify the hangman? Damn. Okay. All right. So the seven of wands can be about being protective or territorial, territorial or resistant, um, standing your ground. So you're stuck on a decision or you're standing your ground. I need one more has to do with a relationship. Okay. So you have the two of cups. Okay. So this is a marriage or a situation to that involves a child. Okay. What about the justice system? Damn. So there's a huge sudden chain of events that is coming in this situation. This shit is chaotic. Wow. Something shocking. What is shocking? What is this sudden change? And your cards just flew out. What is this shocking change? Spirit, what is the shocking change? Please and thank you. That's too much. Oh, it's only two cards. <laughs> it looked like four, okay? So we have the Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands, okay? Um... So, I don't know. With the Four of Wands and the Tower with Justice, some type of stability or some type of foundation is being shook to its core when it comes to the Four of Wands, this family. What is being shut? The Ten of Pentacles. Money. Long-term financial security. So somebody could definitely be getting some money. A lot of money. When it comes to child support. Okay. And this is your confirmation. And this person is definitely feeling stressed out or you're feeling stressed out. Or this person is stressed about the whole situation when it came to the two of cups. 
between you two and this child that y'all have together. This is a love child. Tell me some more about the child. <gasps> oh, I need another card before I say anything. Spirit, what a... <gasps> oh, the marriage card. I need one more. <laughs> because... You know, we have the faith, we have peace and we have faiths. So I'm a little confused that, you know, why this person, why did we see the nine of swords is hidden? Somebody's afraid or some type of stress that keeps them up at night. You know, the judicial system is bringing in some type of shocking chain of events, sudden changes, uh, relocation. Lots of money on the table. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. And you have the transformation. You have death. And this child. Hmm. Okay. Spirit is saying for some of you, this could be someone or your person or this person that desires to have a strong foundation with you. They worked on their inner child and had a transformation and now they're ready for marriage. They're ready for their family. They're ready to put things together to, again. Or <sighs> some of you, there could be an ending to a relationship where somebody is going to be paying out a lot of money for child support. Others of you, there's a marriage that is trying to come together, but there are some sudden changes that is causing a delay. Okay. Wow. This landed right on the Ten of Cups. Look at the Empress. Somebody's getting married. Wow. Yeah. Somebody's having a baby. Take it how it resonates. Everything does not have to apply to you. But something is being healed because we did have the moon card that came out that says a time for healing. Okay, so this could be a reconciliation. Um, this could be a truce where the other person is going to pay the child support. They surrender, especially with the hangman being here and the seven of wands. Um, when it comes to this partnership or this love or this union, okay, we have a lot of strong tens and the two of cups. And anytime I see the two of cups, that's a strong divine counterpart. Okay, that's a strong union between two twin souls. Okay, um, and the Empress is here. So this has to do with something growing. Thank you, Spirit. This has something to do with something being finalized. What is peace? This landed on the Ten of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Didn't I say a generous offer is coming into you, honey bull? Congratulations. I was scared. This is a roller coaster ride right here. <laughs> All right. So, peace. Two of Swords fell on the Empress. So, you're not sure about all of this that's coming in it's got you a little i mean you go from the nine of swords to the two of swords so that's a good thing okay you're not up at night in your head because a lot of clarity came through especially with the justice card transformation and the tower um along with the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles okay somebody could be trying to manifest or put together something that they desire with you know some type of kindness, an act of kindness. Can we clarify peace? What about peace, spirit? All right. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. And we have the Queen of Swords. Okay. So I feel like somebody is working on bringing in an offer of truth. A strong offer of truth and um, some type of plan that's going to bring some type of peace. This is weird. What about the peace? What about the peace? No justice, no peace. 
no justice, no peace. That's what I'm hearing. The fool. Okay. So because of justice, there is peace. There's a new beginning. Well, what did justice do? Balance things out. Justice is from the universe. This is karmic. Not karmic, but this is this is fated. Okay, let me... Um, didn't I say it was fated? I, I forgot this card was here. The fate. So let's find out. Because I was definitely about to talk to uh, Lady Liberty. All right, what is being fated? What is the potential outcome that's being fated? What is being illuminated? What is... What is Wow, just fall all on the floor. So now we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, a painful ending. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm seeing endings and beginnings. So what was this painful ending to cause all of this? What was this painful ending, Spirit? What was the painful ending? What was the painful ending? A Queen of Pentacles. <sighs> hmm. I'm confused because the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, the Empress embodies all the Queens. Okay. So, you know, the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress are very similar. One focuses on money, the other focuses on everything. Okay. So you have the seven of swords. There's a painful ending to some type of fuck trickery when it comes to money. When it comes to something that was very abundant. What was what was the ending? What was this painful ending? Communication came in. Eight of wands. Some type of movement. A message. What was this message? Can we clarify? Everything keep coming over here to the two of cups. <gasps> Somebody's coming in with an apology. I'm telling you, this person has elevated. And they want to make things right. They are balanced and they're ready to come in and be a father figure, a husband, a mother. Because you have the emperor here, you know, empress here. All right. So this king of cups wants to bring in some type of communication. Okay. Okay. Um, a message. There was an ending to some type of fuckery when it comes to either a person that was very successful, bougie, or it has to do with some type of business. Knight of Swords, they're coming in quick. Everything keeps coming over there, but, you know, this landed in the middle. King of Swords. Spirit said that's the truth. Didn't I say this person wants to come in with some type of communication? And wait a minute. Where is it? I saw the King of Swords here. Queen of Swords. Exactly. So you got a divine counterpart. Queen and King. Aries, Leo. I mean, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be a Libra, especially with justice being here in the Queen of Swords. Um, somebody wants to come in and make peace. That's what I'm picking up with this Queen of Swords. Working towards making some type of peace or trying to come in with a really strong offer to bring in peace, a new beginning. And then the King of Swords is here. Okay, so this is something that you're going to have to be, you know, analyzed. At the bottom of the deck, you have Will of Fortune. The crazy thing is that, you know, I really don't know why the child is in the picture. Like, what is this child situation? We do have the Will of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is being faded. This is what's coming in. Unexpected events, good news, good opportunities coming towards you, collective. What is the child? Why is the child here? Okay, so now we have the page of wands. So I feel like this person became optimistic and they had to learn how to mature because you have... You have death here. This is a transformation. 
This is a death to the old way of thinking, the old way of doing things. Exactly. And realizing that they need to either man up and bring in a commitment. Okay. And you might be a little stuck when this person comes in because you're not sure if they're going to really be for real, for real. Are they really going to stick to what they say with the king and queen of swords being here? Can I really trust this person and their actions? Thank you, spirit. All right. <clears throat> king of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Exactly. So the King of Pentacles is someone who's business minded, stable, wealthy provider. And the Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. Okay. So with the King of Swords and the Queen of Pen and the King of Pentacles, I feel like um, you know, this person really is stable, or they want to show you how stable they are. Hmm. Four of Swords, okay? Um, recoup and Retreat is what is really sticking out to me. Why is the Four of Swords, at, what is, why is there some type of peace? So the peace, that's what the peace is. No justice, no peace. This person cannot rest easy until they come in and make shit right with you. Thank you, Spirit. Exactly. Eight of Swords, okay? Um, you know, they were blinded to the truth. They did not see themselves as the issue. Okay. What about this eight of swords? Yeah. Queen of cups. Exactly. Okay. So with the queen of cups being here, cause we had the king of cups wanting to come in with communication. So this person has tapped in and nurtured themselves, nurtured their inner child OK, they were blinded to seeing that they were the problem, that they were the issue. And they're putting an ending to that stress and that burden that they was dealing with. OK, good news is coming. Can't make it up. Celebration. This person wants to come in and celebrate with you. And here goes the moon. OK, secrets. This is what they want to bring to um, to light. If this resonated with you on any level and you would like another reading or you would like to get more in depth, I am giving um, personals. You can see the information in the description box, guys. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, let me pull one more wisdom card. Spirit says pull one more wisdom card. What was complicated was this person needed to be balanced out. And it's so crazy because we just had the portal six, 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 uh, six and six. And that's all about twin flames, twin souls being balanced out. And I feel like perfect timing for this person to come in and want to bring in a message. Okay, so this is something that's long overdue. You have the number 15, which breaks down to the number six. So I can't make it up. Okay. Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. A new life. This is what they're trying to create with you. A new cycle, a new beginning. Three and nine is the number 12. Okay? So Spirit is definitely letting me know that, you know, embrace this when it comes in. You may feel a little stuck because you're not sure. But let this person show you that they're willing to be a fool. Okay? They have elevated and they want to show you this could be an Aries. I got all the signs here. Swords, cups, and pentacles as well as air. I mean, air, fire, uh, earth, and um, water. All here. Okay. Queen of cups. You got the queen and king of cups. The king and queen of pentacles. The emperor and the empress. Okay. And the king and queen of swords. You got all of the divine counterparts on the board masculine and feminine energy for all four elements okay and so um spirit is telling me take what resonates so this applies to any and everyone who's watching this video because we have all of them out here must i pull them out for you guys no problem i will spend that time doing so so you have the queen of swords okay you have the where is he you have the king of swords you have the king of pentacles you have the queen of pentacles you have the empress 
and you have the did we have the emperor out here or was that my other that was my other reading okay so the emperor didn't come out but we do have the fool <laughs> Because this is how this feeling, this is how this person feels coming towards you like a fool. Okay, this is a big risk, they're stepping out on faith. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups. Okay, so that's a pair. Okay, that's a pair. All right, then we have, let's just put the empress with the fool, okay? The empress says, listen, if you coming to me honest, you stepping out on faith, you doing something that you never done before, that's motherfucking attractive to me. I'll take it, okay? I'll take this risk taker that's willing to start a new start. Why not? Okay, and then you have the king and queen of pinnacles and you have the king and queen of swords. Like I said, take it how it resonates. You have all the motherfucking signs out here. You have all the elements, all four of them. Okay, and that's a cycle. That's a completed cycle. So expect great things, expect good news coming your way, especially when I seen it right here with the Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Cups, you have the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Four of Wands, and you have good news, the Eight of Wands, twice, I believe. Uh, you have the Ace of Wands, and you have the Eight of Wands, okay? All right. So that's that's a lot of good news coming in. A lot of movement, a lot of messages, a lot of luck. And we had the will of fortune. Okay, out here twice. I hate when I do this to my board, but I'll be trying to teach y'all and I'll be trying to show y'all that it came out. Where is it? You got the Knight of Cups out here. <laughs> I know I've seen it, but I swore we saw it. Maybe it's in the deck. I think I had looked at the bottom of the deck and we was like, this is what's being faded. And instead of taking it because faded was in here, the fates, this is the number eight, one and seven. Okay. This is what's being faded to me in my third eye as well. That's what I'm picking up the will of fortune. Okay. And you have the moon. So this is what's coming in. Spirit is saying that's the motherfucking truth. A lot of clarity, a lot of new beginnings coming to those that definitely have been alone, been betrayed, been in heartbreak, been hurt, been in pain. It's now being reborn with alchemy and the magician being here okay and then you have the four of pentacles as well as temperance okay so somebody really learning their lesson okay really trying to take control of their peace that's why they said no justice no peace and here go all the lovers cards all right, so like I said, if you enjoyed this, I let this go further than I should have. But I love you guys, and I just really want to give y'all that. Mm. Okay, so if you want more in debt, let me know. Love you. Bye, boo.